Hi everybody, it's Vanessa Goldine. I am a wellness consultant and educator. My company is Bridge to Health Wellness. In addition to that, I am a Tao Touch certified Chin and Sung practitioner, which is an absolutely amazing practice of applied Qigong. I'm here today to talk to you about seasonal Qigong, which is a practice that we do between uh, the change of seasons. And I'm getting ready to start the upcoming autumn seasonal Qigong practice starting on October 5th, four weeks, the four weeks of Thursday morning, nine to 10. And in addition to that, I'm also offering a more condensed version of that class for anyone who cannot attend the morning classes on Saturday, April 21st. You can get all that information through my website. There's a calendar of the dates and times of all the classes. So a little bit about seasonal Qigong. Seasonal Qigong is a practice that we do to help us transition from uh, one season to the next. The transitions between seasoning is a very challenging time of year for us because there are often ups and downs in the weather. The two strongest and most difficult transitions of the year are winter, which is a condensed yin phase of the year, and spring, which is an expanding yang phase of the year. So winter into spring is very bumpy because we might have some really cold days with lots of wind and burr, we're freezing, and then we'll get those few days where the spring will start to come up and the grass is growing and the flowers are starting to bloom and then all of a sudden we'd be back to more blustery weather or a freeze or whatever it is. So that transition is very difficult and the other difficult transition is between summer and autumn. By the time summer comes along we are completely burned out on being way too hot or way too humid or whatever it is and then we come into fall and there starts to be these wonderful soft mornings where it's cooler and evenings where we really feel like getting out and moving around but then there might be a day like we're having today here in Arizona a very blustery dry wind is going through and so again it's the ups and downs these are the times of year that we're most likely to develop anxiety frustrations feeling like we're blocked. Um, it's also a time of year when immunity gets challenged and we have more likely to get sick with either a seasonal cold or especially in the fall going into winter, we're more susceptible to colds, flus, viruses, things like that. So seasonal Qigong practice is designed to help keep your balance between all the transitions of the seasons, even summer into, or uh, spring into summer, which is two yang seasons, so it's a pretty smooth transition, and then fall into winter, which are the yin seasons. So I'll be talking more about that in my next video. I encourage you to check us out through the website or direct message me through Instagram to learn more, and I'm very excited to share this seasonal Qigong practice with everyone. Thank you so much.